Hello, my name is Nisha Holmes. I'm a senior consultant on the experts team with Analysis Prime. Today I'm going to talk about one of the releases for QRC2 of 2023, specifically Excel add-in of Get Data Formula improvements. So previously it required the model to be inserted as a table in a sheet to use SAP.getData formula. Now the SAP.getData formula can be used independent of the table and users can simply add a data source to the formula. Now let's take a look and see what this looks like close up. So what you want to do is when you first open a sheet, uh, after you sign into SAP Analytics Cloud, you go to Add Function and then you can add a data source here. Now because I've already added the data source, I'm not going to do that now, but essentially it'll take you to um, a, a view where you can choose your the table that you want to pull the data in from. So you can see I've already started working on this and I pulled in data. Now previously you would have to build a table uh, using the designer here and then you would pull from that table to create your own tables um, but now you can just use the data source and not have to pull from the table so the formula is here you can see we have um, sap.getdata ds underscore one is my data source and then everything after that is going to be the dimension ID and the corresponding member ID for that dimension that I'm trying to pull in to the cell. So for instance, here I'm pulling in the category version or the category or version, and I'm pulling in the public dot forecast, which is the forecast for that version. And the date I'm pulling in is 2021-4, which is the fourth quarter of 2024. And then the measure I'm pulling in is revenue and so that will that will populate there now you can also set it up where you pull in directly from cells that you've pre-populated with the dimension IDs and the member IDs so as you can see here that's what I've done so I'm pulling in again the same data source and um, the category version I've I've locked in to this cell and I'm pulling in the public forecast, which I've locked in as well, or the forecast, the public version. And then I've for the date, I'm pulling in 2021-4, which is the fourth quarter of 2021, and the measure I'm pulling in is gross margin. Now keep in mind, you do need to use the member IDs and the dimension IDs. It won't, won't use, um, the, the get data will not use member descriptions. So you can do it either way. I find that um, you know, laying it out ahead of time and where you have kind of a cheat sheet where you can just go and pull in those numbers from a, 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 into the table from cells works the best. Um, you know, if you misspell a word here or if you use a lowercase versus an uppercase, it won't, it won't work. So I find it's easier to uh, and safer to populate cells um, with the member IDs and dimension IDs before and then and then using those within the get data formula. I do see this as a great benefit great benefit for those who use the Excel add-in or even who don't who need to do um, some additional um, calculations that SAC doesn't allow by by using the Excel add-in at this point you can certainly um, do some additional calculations that you may not otherwise have access to within SAC so I do uh, suggest giving us a try and let us know how, how it works for you thank you